A lot of times we'd love to finish every shot, right? Get into the double leg, run a guy out of bounds, put him to his back for four points. But this time, this guy's wrestling really tough. He's giving us hips. He's getting his hips back, down and away. He's really heavy, and I'm going to have to recover from bad positioning. So I shoot my double leg. I get in, and now look at my position. My head and chest are down. My hips are behind my head, and I really don't have good position. The only thing that I have left is my hand behind his thigh. So from here, guys, it's going to be really tough for me to recover, but I need to emphasize focusing on a few particular points. Number one is I can always keep my head and chest strong. This is where I'm going to get a lot of my power. And number two is I want to have to work up and into this guy. So we are going to wrestle in this position once I miss. Once I get here, notice how I try to keep my head and chest up, but this is where I get the bulk of my building and my foundation is from here. So when I have my left hand on the ground, I wanna make sure I can utilize this to bring me up. Look what that does. By just simply posting on my left hand, I'm able to get his hips up off the mat. I do not wanna be here. I'm not keeping my hands locked here. Right away, as soon as I miss, my left hand is going to post. Now look at my head and chest. I bring my head and chest up. So I'm going from here, crotch, pelvis, head and chest go up. Now in this position, I'm gonna use this line in the circle right here as our out of bounds line. And so if I'm trying to get this guy out of bounds to salvage a single point from this shot, I wanna make sure that I can get this guy's hips up. And so if you watch a lot of freestyle wrestling, you know that if I try to finish from this position, this is gonna be considered grounding because I'm still on my knees. So even if I push and drive here, I'm probably not gonna score any points from that. And so I wanna make sure that when I get to this position, I can not only get him to his feet, but I can elevate myself to my feet as well and get off of my knees. So when I get here, I'm long, I'm in trouble, right? My left hand posts, look what it does to my head and chest. It brings me high. So now instead of going left foot up to drive, watch me come inside foot. So I'm going left knee goes down, right knee comes up. Look what that does to his hip immediately. Look at how this brings his foot off of the mat and look at how this brings me off of my knees and out of bad position. Now from here, we could switch off to a double, but primarily I wanna stay engaged because I'm gonna use my head and chest to drive across his body. So I'm driving at this 11 o'clock angle to get this guy out of bounds. And once I run him here, run, 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 I'm gonna ditch him. That's gonna be really helpful for me to get this guy out of bounds. And so a couple of things that I want you guys to focus on are number one, as soon as you miss this double leg and you, this guy feeds you hips, posting with your far side hand. So if your free hand is gonna post, I miss here, boom. I go here right away. Number two, this hand has to post up to bring my head and chest up. Now my head and chest up, I'm still engaged and locked in with this right hand behind his thigh, right underneath this guy's butt cheek. And then my right knee is going to come up as my left knee goes down. So left knee goes down, right knee comes up. Look at how this right knee turns out this foot. My head and chest stay across his body. I don't wanna reach across here for this double leg. This exposes me, puts me in danger, makes me long. I keep this hand posted as I run this guy out of bounds. This line is the out of bounds line. I just need to move him a few more inches so I can get my points and salvage this shot. One time, here, I'll run, 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 run. Ditching him. And that's how we get our point, salvaging our double leg when we've missed that shot wrestling up and through that guy's hips, getting underneath of him, and still getting him out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs>